What's up guys? Welcome back to another So Your Wife Wants You To. Today we are putting the Christmas stuff away, getting all the normal stuff back out. Some of that normal stuff includes a uh, mat for the front door and we have a really big front porch and as such we need a really big mat. Uh, problem is really big mats come with a hefty price tag and sometimes we like to I guess make them last a little longer than they're probably intended to last. Uh, so come with me, I'll show you how to um, fix a mat that's actually starting to dry rot. All right, so for this process, we have three things that we're gonna need. Alcohol, go with the strongest you can. Good, uh, strong duct tape. This is Gorilla. There's also, uh, 3M makes a good one too and just your basic aqueous cleaner. So step one, see these cracks in here? From the front it doesn't look too bad, but from the back it does. So step one is going to be just squirting that down, getting all of it cleaned up. That's important because we need to get all the dirt off of there. And if you have a lot of heavy soil, you want to brush that off first you want that tape to stick. Basically we're just going to tape this thing but if you just put tape on dirtiness it's just going to be gross. Step two, Whoa, we're going to get a bunch of alcohol on there. What this does is remove any of the grease. Anything greasy, so you're still getting stuff off of there. Um, because anything greasy or oily or any tar is going to keep that tape from sticking. Notice we're just doing the part around where the cracks are. We don't have to do the whole thing. And I have it in the sun for a reason. Because ultraviolet light tends to kind of activate things that are black and make them warm. So we're doing that as well. So it's in the sunshine. Getting pretty warm. Alright, so it looks like this alcohol is dry. So we are ready for our tape. I understand that sometimes duct tape things can be kind of, we say rednecky or just kind of not really looking like it's worked too well. But this is really strong tape and it's the exact same color as the back. So as long as we don't have any jagged edges or kind of like rough looking edges, um, I don't think the appearance will be an issue. I think it'll, it'll still look semi-pro. And that's really what this channel is about, you know, just kind of being good enough to to where it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't always have to be having to go out and buy something new. You know, we are saying is we do what we can with what we have. So that's what we're doing today. And since I don't have my tripod, I'm just going to kind of act it out here. But basically, I'm literally just taking this and I'm going to put it over that crack. I'll show you in just a sec when it's done. So it looks simple enough. Um, we'll show you the, the front here when we're all done. And then I'm going to do another one over all these smaller cracks here, like this one, this one. We're just going to put a piece along the margin. Alright, so this is what it looks like when it's all done. Pretty simple, just a couple pieces of tape. But the main point is that you can't see it from the front. See how there's like a quarter inch of a gap there? Can't see it from the front. And it's stuck really well so it's not going to be just hanging off or anything like we've we've cleaned the surface and it's it's stuck on really well that coupled with the fact that it's a very strong duct tape will be okay and here's the front looking pretty good so that will last us at least another season if not a couple seasons still all right guys well that's it uh i'll leave a link affiliate links in the description if you care to support this channel and keep allowing me to uh, buy more crap to help you guys out um, please feel free to click on them and just kind of shop around and every little bit helps otherwise guys thank you again and we will catch you in the next video